When you're ready, really ready, we'll be there when you are. Delta is ready to fly. Yes, we're ready to fly. I'm Rachel Bradley, and this is the Armageddon Update. Civility, kindness, and compassion are over, at least on Dachau Airlines. I mean, Delta, Dachau Airlines. I've been flying Delta for over 10 years, two first-class tickets every week, 40 weeks a year. And I had noticed that the planes were looking a little rough. See, Delta flies the oldest fleet of any airline, on average 17 plus years old. And yeah, it had started to feel like the wheels had fallen off. You know, when the wheels fell off. January 17th, Kansas City, August 22nd, 2018 in New York, April 17th, 2018 in Dulles. Or hey, how about December 2nd, 2019, when the evacuation slide just fell off the plane and into a guy's backyard? I wanted to believe the best because I loved them. When Delta flight attendants wouldn't believe a black woman was a doctor so she could treat a passenger in crisis. And when they kicked a guy off for speaking Arabic. And when they kicked a deaf guy off for not following orders. Also when a black girl was kicked off for a cuss word on her hat after a non-mask wearing white pilot berates her for 10 minutes on video. And also when a girl was kicked off because the flight attendant didn't believe that she had put her phone in airplane mode. Calm down, get a hold of yourself. Stewardess, please let me handle this. They also kicked off the four passengers sitting around her that defended her, including a small child. Also, you know, when they threatened to arrest a couple and put their tiny kids in foster care for not giving up the seat they paid for to a standby passenger. I paid for the seat. I bought the seat. Yeah, that's be a federal fine. Offense, and then you and your wife will be in jail and your kids will be in foster care. Oh. This is getting harder. Okay. All right. So they were also fined $50,000 for discriminating against Muslims. Oh my God. I am in an abusive relationship. <sighs> See, I had been at my dad's for a week. And I was dealing with some serious health stuff with my father. My father is a Marine officer and he's hard to care for. He thinks super glue and hot sauce and Vaseline can fix anything. And look, about the Vaseline, he was a pilot. He had to sit a lot. So on Tuesday night, I leave there. I land in Atlanta and my connecting flight is already two hours delayed. They probably couldn't find all the wheels. So I bored, finally, call my sister to tell her the bad news about dad. And the next thing I know, I have this irate flight attendant in my face telling me to hang up or I'll be sorry. So I hang up. She's one of those classic Delta Nazi Karens, you know, bitter at the ex, head of the condo, HOA, fining people for dog poop on her lawn, angry she's in orthopedic pumps and still slinging peanuts. So now we're taxiing to the runway. And the peanut slinger comes back, stomps back over, puts her finger an inch from my face out of nowhere and says, mess with me and I'll turn this plane around and kick you off. And I'm stunned. So I quietly say, ma'am, please get your finger out of my face. And why are you being such a bitch to me when I did what you asked me to do? Her face instantly twists into this mess of cracked pancakey foundation and cheap greasy red lipstick tinted spittle and she stomps off. Her shoes were squeaking. And I hear her calling the cockpit and it sounds like she is speaking in tongues in The Exorcist. The pilot announces, we're going back to the gate until we resolve an issue. Boy, I did not see that coming. So we get to the gate. And they tell me to come forward, where eight people are lined up a la Mussolini firing squad. And I try to diplomatically talk to Karen the peanut slinger, also trying not to stare at the balled up bits of lip skin that are collecting on her mouth like barnacles. She says, I used a curse word. So she and the captain have decided that they want me off the plane. I don't get angry. I apologize sincerely to her. I tell her I'm platinum. I fly Delta all the time. And she, on brand for Delta 2020, is nasty in return. 
They make me gather my things and I am escorted off the last flight of the night. It's now midnight. I have nowhere to go, no personal items, no clothes, no food for my dog. The gate agent that escorted me off actually seems genuinely surprised that I'm normal and quietly tells me that the peanut slinger told the captain that I refused to wear my mask. I am shocked. I get lost in the airport. It's empty. I end up alone outside in the dark where I am hit on by a man that wanted to wear me like a skin. And I know that because he told me that. I am tired and now I am scared. See, people, women, we are not weaker in the world, but we are less safe. And Delta Airlines does not care about that. I walk from the airport to a hotel, feeling as though I have just been slammed in the face with a Karen-sized brick, but thankfully, I am safely locked behind a hotel door. This affected me. I expect people, I think, to be good and to care, and that is not the world that we live in anymore, and that's what I'm dealing with. I haven't been sleeping. I have this rash spreading across my face that may or may not be caused by the super glue I bought at the hotel to glue my lashes in the next morning. I had to get back on a Delta flight. By God, I wasn't doing it without lashes. Hero. War hero gotten the brush off from Delta since. Zero Fs given that we spend hundreds of thousands of dollars with them. And hey, Delta, that alone could buy a lot of wheels. But you know what? I refuse to let anger win. So Christy Karen, the peanut slinger, I forgive you. And I'll never fly Delta again. And we cut up our Delta credit cards. But I forgive you. But by the way, bitch, Go get me some peanuts. I'm Rachel Bradley, and this is the Armageddon Update. God, she was a bitch.